Hello everyone, so today is the last day of 2016. I've been looking forward to 2017 as I'm sure a lot of people have as well because this year without a doubt has become the worst year of my life. I experienced new obstacles, new struggles, betrayal, moving out to a new area, and the worst of all for me being the loss of my pup Vegeta. But through it all, you gotta move forward and hope for the best and deal with what lies ahead. Sadly, this year became too disappointing. I mean, if it wasn't for my fiance helping me out through all the struggles, you guys as well for tuning in, I don't think I could even say a single damn positive thing about this year. But anyways, as the last video for this year, I'm making it all on 10 reasons why 2016 sucked ass. Let's begin. Number 10, the Olympics. So first of all, I'm not a viewer of the Olympics. I'm not really entertained by watching people swim, run, or jump, or lift heavier weights than what I can lift. But what I can say is that I can definitely agree that the Olympics sucked ass this year because, because of all the injuries I saw. I mean, what the hell happened out there? I feel terrible for the people that were competing and ended up breaking some bones instead of some world records, but damn, there were a lot of injuries. And even though I don't know any of them, I do hope they get better and that this doesn't happen again. We don't want to look at the Olympics as the new NASCAR, do we? Number 9. No new Rick and Morty episodes. One of the best shows I started watching in 2015 was Rick and Morty. I'm not sure when it first aired, but I was really amazed with this series. And definitely looking forward to the third season, but sadly, all year long, we never got the third season. I know Mr. Poopy Butthole said that it would take about a year, a year and a half, but we still didn't even have a, a deadline or any info on the third season and when will it be airing. We have gotten a few previews of some sketches, but seriously, how long does it take to make an episode? I won't blame the creators for taking too long, and you know why? Because I know these guys are great, and I know you gotta take as much time as you can to make your visions look identical to what you want it to look like. So yeah, putting a deadline isn't a good thing. I should be glad that they are taking their time to make the next season be just as good as this, the second and the first season, but I was really hoping that the series would begin sometime this year, but it didn't. So that sucked. Number 8. The Memes What the fuck happened to everyone? It sucks ass when someone makes a funny joke and then everyone tries to tell the same joke and make it look like they made it better. This was 2016 memes. Every good meme that hit ended up being reused over and over, but with a few differences here and there. Let me tell you guys something. If a joke hits, move on. If a joke doesn't hit, move on. It works both ways because if a joke does hit and you reuse it and reuse it, it's gonna get bored right away. No one will laugh, and it will instead become annoying rather than funny. Speaking of annoying, who the fuck thought that blasting the bass at full volume at the end of a meme was a great idea as a punchline? Who? I swear all I see in every meme nowadays is something 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 I think I remember seeing a video where a bus full of passengers ended up getting hit or something because everyone jumped and they all got tossed around, and that's where the bass kicked in as a punchline, which to that it worked, but then everyone started using the bass at full blast at the end of every video as a punchline, and what the fuck, I mean, have at least some dedication to your memes, try, I know it sounds fucking hard, but try, don't reuse a meme that worked and milk the fuck out of it because you're desperate, it's not funny, it's annoying as fuck, please, everyone who works on memes, I know it takes time and effort to come up with a good, a good joke, but trust me, you will feel proud of yourself for coming up with that original meme on your own. Stop following like cattle. Number 7. Fucking Clowns. How did this begin? Was this sometime during Halloween because I remember hearing about it on the news and all over YouTube and then I started seeing top 10 lists about fucking clowns running around scaring the shit out of people. This is a fucking joke, right? I agree that it must have been a scary experience for those who were in those situations, but why did it take so many clown videos for a group of friends to finally grow a sack and beat the living hell out of those clowns? That was the real punchline. These guys came out to terrorize and in the end they got their asses kicked and every other clown was like, oh wait, they're not afraid anymore? And they're fighting back? Fuck that. Number 6. 
plastic bag taxes. Yeah, you cheap motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it out there. I'm complaining about this. It's new, and I never thought I would have to pay for a grocery bag at the grocery store I'm buying items at. Even Walmart of all places. How the fuck do you expect people without a car to do their grocery shopping who can barely afford to buy the food and now they gotta bring in their own bags which makes them look suspicious like if they're bringing in a bag to steal shit. I think this might backfire and get a lot of people to complain a little sooner than expected. I don't even know how this started off but it's definitely a disappointment for 2016. Number 5. Terrible Trends Oh my god, the things that were considered trending this year. What was the world thinking? Why were the stupidest things on earth becoming the most stupid? the most fucking viewed i understand when something as awesome as bravely wild gets to become something that's trending fuck yeah thumbs up for that shit but everything else why let's just say that if aliens were out there and they were planning on abducting the smart people there wouldn't be any abductions animals have shown to be smarter than people this year they know whether something is food or not well they've always known that of course right Na nature but this year, I saw people eating shit they're not supposed to put in their mouth. Videos trending that are cringier than Fred the has-been. And when something is cringier than that, and it's gaining attention? Yeah, we are de-evolving. By 2020, I'm sure dogs will be walking their owners. Suicides will be a new trend, and flies will outlive most people. Number 4. DC Movies Sucked I'm sure we can all agree that DC television shows are doing a fantastic job, but the movies this year sucked balls. Batman v Superman was a fucking letdown. It was a complete mess. I made a review on this movie so you can check out my opinions on everything I thought about this movie and I don't change anything I, that I said even after the extended release. The sad thing about movie studios nowadays is that they want to make as much money as possible by any means necessary and that could mean taking a lot of scenes out of the final cut of a movie and release them in the Blu-ray and DVD versions. This is so they can make the same viewers go back and spend more money on the movie they've already seen whether they liked it or not because if they didn't like it, maybe the extended cut will make them like it, right? But Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice didn't serve any justice on both the theatrical and Blu-ray versions of the movie. They both suck. The movie in my opinion was destined to suck the moment I saw that they were taking the storyline from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. That is an overrated comic book that sucks balls in my opinion because it completely changes every character and makes them look like shit. Again, I've explained this in my review and other videos uh, that are regarding the film. But no matter how you look at the movie, it's bad. I didn't think it was possible to make a movie that has both Batman and Superman in it actually suck. But then again, just make the story be based off of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns and you're on the right track. Suicide Squad came out, but sadly that movie did not turn out to be the movie it should have been from the very beginning. That's one of my personal disappointments to be honest, although I definitely enjoyed the movie, I fucking hate the fact that it was toned down so fucking low to the point that they scrapped tons of scenes out of the movie which could have possibly saved the film and not disappoint over half the fans that went to see it. Because even though I was enjoying the movie, I do remember that the editing became a complete mess. The antagonist should have clearly been the Joker from the start. Enchantress should have just stuck as one of the members of the squad. And even though everyone was well aware that we all know the direction they were taking was because Marvel took it with Guardians of the Galaxies, they still stuck with that style for the extended version and didn't release the real uncut edition we were all expecting. Fucking idiots. Number 3. YouTube The one place to find the things that are trending, YouTube was by far at its worst this year. So many mistakes made by the algorithm it's got, so many unanswered questions of course, so many stupid videos, so many stupid channels, but worst of all, so much drama. I found a good amount of small channels that were making kick-ass content, but they never got the attention they deserved. Heck, I feel like my channel is one of those in that line. I don't know if my shit is cringy to most people, but I won't know because I'm not talking about drama and I'm not trending. And everyone knows that in order to trend, you gotta do some stupid shit, 
something really stupid and possibly controversial in order to get some attention, lie if you have to, or set up the world's most disturbing shit and call it art, call it talent, call it whatever you want, a prank or some shit, but one thing's for sure, it's making views, making bank, and as for your self-respect, you cannot put a price on that. But fuck it, right? It's all about the money. Number two, the elections. Now I'm not gonna act like I know everything about politics and I'm not gonna say who to vote for or who should have been the one to vote for, but I can definitely see who I shouldn't have voted for. Yet millions of people chose Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton to be our main choices. Fuck everyone else, right? Let's not put any attention on them. Hell, I wasn't even aware at first that there was anyone else running for president because of how everyone else got no attention or publicity. In the beginning, we had Bernie, a person who's been there through the toughest times ever since the struggle for equality. He's been fighting all his life to make America great, yet he was also shoved aside and we instead have to choose between a 70-year-old rich kid who has never met a single bit of struggle in his life so that means he has no experience of what normal people deal with on a daily basis. He thinks he's better than everyone else because he's got more money than you do. Or we can choose someone who says vote for her because she's a woman and we've never had a woman become president. I'm not sure which poison to pick. Can I get a little help here on the comments? Number one, people that passed away. With all jokes aside, we gotta bow our heads down and give a moment of silence for the people that passed away this year. We may complain about our daily lives, the elections, YouTube, and all the lame shit that went on all year, but the worst thing that could happen is losing someone. Someone important to your life or someone who was an inspiration to you. That's the worst thing that happened this year. We lost a lot of talented people, and as for me, I lost my beloved pup Vegeta. You see, I treat my pets like if they were my own kids. They have a heart, a soul, just like us. And whenever I'm sad, they tend to know and they'll comfort you. But other than that, I will miss everyone that passed away this year. So I say let's hope for everyone that passed away to rest in peace, know that they will always be missed, and they'll never be forgotten. With that said, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please leave a like, share with others, and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to notify you of every new video that gets uploaded to this channel. And if you'd like to show me some support on Patreon, check out the link on the description. Anyways, thank you all so much for showing your support all year long. I love you all. Have a happy new year. I'll see you all tomorrow if the world doesn't end. And remember to have an awesome day.